The next step is loading the DXF that we just uh, created, loading it into Desk CNC, and then generating the G code from it. What we'll do is we'll go to File, Foam Cutter, Open Top. We'll select the shape that we just, the file that we just created. And what we see is that Desk CNC loaded the same shape um, on the top side of the screen and the bottom side. The top side, which you could see here, is the left side of the machine. The bottom part of the screen is the right side of the machine. By default, Desk CNC will put the same shapes on, on both sides. Uh, if you want to cut a tapered shape, like a tapered column or a wing, you would load one shape on the top and then do the same process again. This time choose the, um, the bottom and select a different file. In this example, since the cut is going to be straight, we don't need to worry about that. Both shapes are going to be on both sides. Because we don't need to see both sides, uh, we can move our cursor to the blue line and drag it down so we can have a better look at the shapes. The next step is to see what is the sequence that these shapes will be cut. In order to do that, we'll go to the View and Information Tags. What we see here is that for some reason Desk CNC decided that shape this is shape number one, this is shape number two, three, and four. If we were to generate G code with that, uh, the wire w would enter here, exit somewhere here, enter here, exit, and so on. Uh, it would be much easier to start from the letter T, uh, and what we want to do right now is make sure that the letter T would be the first shape to be cut, and to do that, we have to change the sequence instead of this being one and this shape being two, what we want to do is the T would be shape number one, this would be shape number two, the S3 and the T would be shape number four. To do that, we'll go to Edit DXF, Set Machining Order, and we are going to click on them in the right sequence. We'll click the OK. At the bottom here, it says click on Regions and Sequence starting from Region 1. So we'll click on the T, and if you see... If I'll click on the T button and this becomes now 1, 2, 3, and 4. The next step is to tell the machine where to start the cut, or where to enter each shape, and where to exit the shape. In order to do that, we'll go to Edit DXF, Change Start and Depart. Right here at the bottom it says left click to set the start point, right click to set the depart point. So we're going to move our mouse over here, our cursor. We're going to left mouse click this point, we're going to right mouse click this point, left mouse click on the E, right mouse click here, left mouse click on the S, right mouse click here, left mouse click here, and we can do a route mi right mouse click anywhere we want. It could be here, here, here or here, it doesn't really matter. The next step would be to go to Toolpath, for access Foam Cut, and hit the Create button. And the last step is saving the G-code Toolpath Run Machine, and then we'll go and save our G-code where we saved our other files. We'll just click on, by default, the CNC will take the same name as a DXF file and generate the same name with a different extension for the G-code. We'll just hit the Save button and the G-code was generated. We could see the path. The, this is where the wire would go. It would enter the E here, exit the E here, enter the S, exit S, enter the T. If we look at the G-code, the first line of G-code would be X, Y, Z, and A, which is a four axis, and then the feed rate, which is how fast the machine will go to, will go, which is 19 inch per minute. We're done with step number two. The last step would be to load this shape into our cutting software, which is Mach 3.